<laughs> Don't even get me started on that. Jeez. Ain't no way. Alright. Feel bad to watch and don't subscribe. So my next Prime, I'll use it for sure. Marzi, I appreciate the sentiment. Um, I never say that, you know, people need to start spending money. <laughs> this ain't free entertainment no more. Clap. That's a trick 2G. Um, you do what you can. And obviously the most that you can do is just watching the channel. Which is awesome. Alright, we're loading up Dead Cells. Twitch community, say hi to the folks over in YouTube land. They're going to be seeing this for the first time in like a month. Yo, Conquer gifting us up over to Marzi. Mars, you are a six-monther. Now you get to use that Prime. It's like you get to pay it forward. You get to use the Prime on the next person over. That's not how that works, actually. At least from a streamer perspective, you get to do it like that. All right. We got good stuff lined up today, people. World premiere game. Not this one. This is five years old. But the game after this. After this is a world premiere game. Never before seen. In fact, the game's not even out until Friday, I think. We need chat on the screen. Okay, there we go. Good, good. Check the YouTube live stream. Okay, there we go. Looking good, people. Looking good. Um, I don't believe YouTube chat is coming in. Oh, now it might be. Okay. Kill the music. That's Armor Core 2, Adam Smasher, number 7. Write that down. Huffy, thank you. One bitty. We're going to hold that for a prediction that's about to come up. For those of you who've never seen this before, we're about to do some uh, rare Dead Cells boss rush. Um, this is a good warm-up for us. Typically, I like to do this before I play a world premiere game. Um, that way, I get to move the cogwheels in my head and also de-rustify my uh, fingertips. I assume every great YouTuber does the same thing. They play some kind of Mario Maker or Hollow Knight or something before they play Lethal Company or Minecraft. It's the only way to warm up properly. I'll probably just go in order from Brutality over to Survival. We got Mama Tick Death. And then, oh my god, I see some stuff in there, but stuff that won't hit Mama Tick. Predictions. Can V win as Brutality in Boss Rush? Is it possible? It might not be. For all we know, no one has ever been able to do this before. Can he eat boss rush? Yes, easy game. No, game hard. All right, two minutes on the clock. Cash votes, people. All right. No, 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 no. So uh, we got options here. Or Pice, welcome. Happy to have you here. Uh, fire Blast, Quadruple Damage could be cool, but keep in mind, Mama Tick is in water, um, which makes this non-functional. We got Baseball Bat with no stun. Infantry Bow, because the other thing is unusable. Blood Sword, Double Crossbow, Cluster Grenade. Honestly, I would like restart this whole thing if I were you. But we can't do that. That's not allowed. That's against the rules. I 
I'm doubting V not in groove for the warm up yet. <laughs> Don't bet on the first jumping jack of the warm up. Let me at least get 10 push ups in first, then we can do the jumping jacks. All right, I hear you, I hear you. I've been trying to play some Ashla Sin offline. I need to unlock all the weapons for Kiran. I think I'm like halfway through a run right now, which it seems good run-wise. Um, it's just sometimes it's a hard game. To be fair, we had a conversation the other day on the Twitch stream. What do I consider to be the hardest roguelite? And when I talk roguelikes, I talk about this kind of stuff, action roguelikes. Astral Ascent is not the hardest, I would say. It's up there. Um, but that game can be won by getting the highest level stuff. And like that's there's RNG in there too, and the bosses hit really hard. Um, but if you happen to get really lucky, then you could probably win. I think there's other games that luck does not help <laughs> very often. All right, let's try this. You could backpack this thing. I don't know if it's gonna do quadruple damage to me in the backpack. I think it's not supposed to. I'd say this would be nice. I know Corrupted Power is like damage, but I don't think I have to worry about that just yet. Combo. No Mercy. And what else? I almost wonder if I can run a cheeky Heart of Ice. I'm curious if... Oh wait, this is Conjunctivious! It's not Mama Tick at all. Can I reset? Oh my god, the reset's free. Okay. <laughs> I changed my mind. It's now point blank. No mercy. Disengage. <laughs> Alright. Winnable, by the way. Winnable. Now, of course, this is the hardest version of Conjunctivious. Um, I'm gonna get Toho. If you don't know what Toho is, then you aren't a true anime fan. It's over. What was that delay? You all saw that. Oh, there's tentacles on the floor. I thought they aren't supposed to attack you until Toho is over. Yo, Phantom Breath? That's... Katon Bolsenka? Someone out there knows. Or you could just say V is firebending from Fortnite, which is probably also relevant. Okay. Alright, that's... That, that was my bad, my bad. You know what? Deserve. As soon as I... <laughs> why do I die when I mention Fortnite? Is that karma? I don't think so, right? I didn't do anything wrong. Um, let's... Let's run it back. Yo, Merchant, welcome. Finally beat 5 BC. Merchant, what was the uh, game-winning run, if you don't mind me asking? Okay, so we have Concierge, actual Mama Tick. Shovel came back. Torch, another Fire Blast. Medusa, stuff. Just stuff. New prediction? Can he beat Boss Rush? <laughs> I 
I'm him. I don't know. It was a cross boomerang with wolf trap. Now, Merchant, is that cross and boomerang in both hands? Or is that like cross with boomerang in the backpack? Or is that boomerang with cross in the backpack? I feel like there's a lot of options there. Surely he won't win this time. Toxic? How can I not win when stuff like this is on the table? You don't even know what build I'm about to pick right now. I, I'm going to throw you all for such a curveball. Don't nobody know what's about to happen. Not in a million years are you going to guess what items I take here. Believers are shaken. B, don't experiment, they're saying. I get I have to. There's no choice. It's very important to me that I uh, push the needle, you know? You don't want to just sit on the best builds of all time. We want to innovate around here. That's the best thing about a roguelike game. Yeah, you can streak and play the best stuff every single time and get all yays in the chat, all blue numbers. Or you can innovate and find out what's not good. I mean, I have a feeling of what's not good. But does that mean I necessarily am going to do the good thing? No. I might do the bad thing. Let me be chicken. There is no chat integration in Boss Rush. My apologies. All right. So I'm going to need you all to um, relax for a second. I promise you wholeheartedly this build is absolutely cooked. In a good way. How do I want to do this? This build is bussin' in a good way. Oh crap, I messed up. You can just reset. I feel like I need point blank. Okay. Now, hear me out. I've never done this before. And that's not to say that it's like trash. All it means is that perhaps no one has done this before. It doesn't mean that no one's done it because it's trash. It's just innovation requires creativity and we're being mad creative right now. I fat fingered the start button. All right. Rip no hit. Am I wrong that this seems to do no damage? Oh my god, I hit the one on top, but not the one on the bottom. The screen shake on these two is kind of throwing me for a loop a little bit. Oh wow, the double. The double fire across the ground. Do we have bonus monster health turned on? Now, to be fair, does this have anything to do with me dying to Conjunctivius? No, it, it doesn't. Um, but I would imagine that monsters do not need to be stronger. I 
I'm surprised the Sismo works in there. Not that I have anything against it. But I just made the monsters 50% stronger. Very unexpected. Um, Yo, V, it's been a while since I got to watch you live. How's everything going? It's going pretty well. Uh, we do have a different schedule, so if you are like a late watcher, and that might be why you haven't been able to uh, stop by, which is fine. Where's the spike? Oh, you know what else we could probably use? How about some attack indicators? Like normal people play Dead Cells. Sure y'all are okay with that. Right hander. Uh, keep in mind, Mama Tick cannot be set on fire. I almost tried to parry. Like, we have fire blast, and it's not doing half its damage. I turret. That's messed up. That's pretty good. <laughs> Does Medusa not work well, Mama Tick? Interesting. I took six times damage from Mama Tick. I mean, from Conjunctivious. Skill issue, I'd say. Mmm. Let's not. I don't really want to run this either. Like, honestly, if I could just have an oily serenade and not have to worry about the Medusa, maybe the Medusa's okay. Medusa only worked on the eyeball. I wonder why. Oh, what are we fighting? Giant Dracula? It's not terrible. Spread oil powerful grenade. Um... We can keep playing this. RB wants to take the Assault Shield. And that's gonna help me against Dracula. Should probably just take it. We're not full. I don't know if Medusa works on Dracula. That'd be really interesting to see. I have a strong feeling it does nothing in that fight. I think we want to keep the Sinu Slicer. Sinu doesn't work on the giant though, so how about Lever? Okay, we have a couple of dollars for a reroll. What controller am I using? This is an Xbox Power A controller. A gift from my wife, and then I broke it, and I had to buy one off Amazon myself. I get burning damage. It's not gonna happen, is it? You know what? I'll take Toxic Cloud, Poison, and 10% when you're close. I want to say everything else is fine. I didn't realize that that's an Oily Serenade already. It's like already the perfect Serenade for this setup. Uh, we are going to take off Point Blank. No, we keep Point Blank. We take off Necro. We didn't have Necro. Uh, we take off Point Blank. Get rid of Network. 
keep Armadillo. And then let's actually bring in Disengage. I assume death is highly possible here. I'm going 0 and 2. How? That last one was so good. Kill it? Thank you for the oil. Heck yeah, brother. Where are you attacking? Oh my god, I almost got baited. Okay, I can still get baited. Cerny, I'm really gonna need you to attack this eyeball. Ooh. Okay. That was sick. Sick ill, not sick nasty. Um. Alright, I want to say all this is good. I'm a little worried about this Dracula. Like, I really want the Medusa to work. I'm very much afraid that it does not work. We took Assault Shield to Assault Shield Dash past Dracula. Which is like the easiest thing to do. I can, I can definitely do that. But if Medusa works, it's even better than Assault Shield. Sell the items? Yeah, that was a good idea. Uh, at 100 BC, Motion Twin goes back in time. Therefore, reverting the current update, you're on mid-run. I wish I had more, like, viewer controls that you all could do even wilder stuff than you normally can. Alright, so I'm gonna attempt Medusa first. And then if Medusa doesn't work, then we swap to Assault Shield. I have disengaged. Am I using thumbstick or D-pad? I use D-pad now. I used to use analog when I first started playing this game, but then I started doing these like really snappy parries. Does not work. Can you roll through those? I don't remember if you can or not. You can. Did not lose my disengage, so that's good. Ooh, this is great. Look at that positioning. Get the reset. Unlucky. Get some health back and then heal. So he put his back to the wall, which prevented me from being able to close the gap. That's what I expected. You cannot roll through these. That's why I'm doing this. It's like one of the few attacks in this whole game that you can't roll through. It's almost like it's treated as an aura. Like from a shocker or a conjunctivious. Okay. We only need one health pot for the next boss, so we should be okay. Hey V, I recently beat 5BC and I'm using spoiler weapon. By the way, I really like your content. What's my favorite weapon? I'm still really on my Bladed Tampa kick. I'm not saying that it's like the right weapon every time. Servants. Um, what I will say is that whenever I do pick it up and it works, I do enjoy it. Ooh. 
I think it's this for sure. Servants, servants. What do we need to kill servants? Would this help? Pull one in and then do all of my Penchaku stuff? Really depends on like how long they get stunned for. I do believe they can be stunned. Serenade's really nice, but we're gonna get more value out of staying in Panchaku, I think. Last Raider over Cleaver with the assumption that I won't ever be able to actually do the Cleaver stuff. Because they won't stand still. Base Flask would be really good if it shows up. But I think we need ambient damage. Maybe the cleaver's not bad. That's a really good cleaver. Let's roll a little bit. If face flash shows up, we replace grapple. Double turret. Because I'm going to be doing a lot of dodging. Maybe we stick to Grapple and pray that Grapple does as much crowd control as I think it does. Alright. Um, V, do you guarantee victory here? I don't. I don't believe this can roll anything. I think if you roll it, that's something. You know what? Let's just leave it. I was gonna say, like, I don't think you could get bonus damage or anything like that. All right, combo, open wounds. I really wanted melee, but we would have to get rid of disengage. And this is servants, so it's like, can you really afford to not have disengage? Like, I really want the slow. Like, I'm really trusting in the slow here. And we do bonus damage to slow down? We don't. Uh, your YouTube content has helped me a good amount in Dead Cells. Thank you. No problem. Always like to try our best over here. I didn't know if you turn on decorations and have nice death, you get unique dialogue from the characters. I know there's stuff with the lady, the painter. Um, I didn't know if there's stuff for the individual, like, normal characters. That's pretty cool. Um, so I cannot one-tap Cleo, unfortunately. Yeah, this is super fast. I will have to heal. I might be able to heal here. No, Cleo showed up. That's unfortunate. Oh my gosh, he actually got me. That was sick. Good for you. Three? Wasn't she only doing two the whole time? Yeah, notice how she instantly shoots. I can't go up there, unfortunately. He's not really giving me a lot of chance to attack her. Yeah, maybe grapple's the problem. Alright, one more. Relax. Ooh, I parried that. Okay. He's in there. Not washed, not boosted. Look at all the cells, oh my god. Chat, if I could give you the cells right now. A matter of fact, can someone just type cells in the chat? C-E-L-L-S, all caps. I wanna see just straight cells down the board. 
on chats up here. So I need this filled with the word cells for me to leave. I can't leave until it says cells. Now, if this was like sophisticated, then I could do a giveaway and give away 300 cells to the community. That'd be awesome. B, any suggestions for lighthouse no damage taken? I think there's like maybe three items in the game that can do it extremely well. One of them I sold, which is Serenade. Serenade is very good in that fight. Um, another one is Knife Dance with Bleeding Causes Poisoning. I think if you happen to get the Knife Dance that does Bleeding Causes Poisoning, it will probably one shot or two shot the servants on the climb up. And this is me saying that like the issue with servants is the the fighting. Really like the fighting with the actual climb at the same time. If they're gone, then I feel like the climb part isn't as bad. So that's why like ideally I want you all to really focus on killing them without having to do a ton of combat mid-climb. Knife Dance will do that combat for you. All right, easy game. Um, next color is Tactics. Let's show you all what you're up against. Death, Concierge. We have a Hemorrhage and an item that doesn't function. Quick Bow, Sadist Stiletto, Cocoon. Um, Nerves of Steel, Machete, not a gun by the way, Wormets, Shield, Door, Holy Wada. Alright, good luck everybody. Good luck. Um, the other thing I would say, as a third weapon that does very good against the servants, is a weapon known as... Um, okay, well maybe if you have a 5 BC win, this depends on like how cheesy you want to get with it. If you already have your win in 5 BC, I think if you go in there with... The spinny weapon, the spoiler weapon, with melee mutation, open wounds, and then you roll it for bonus damage to bleeding target, that will probably kill them. Now the issue is like taking no damage during that time, in which case is probably diverse deck with purple card. Now you could also take a um, an ice armor, off color, doesn't have to be legendary. And that, like, you would double down on just winning with the spin. Um, and technically the ice armor would help you with the climb up too. Just depends on if you take fire damage or not. Won't help you there. Am I gonna make a final comprehensive guide for Dead Cells after this final update? Um, I'm going to make something. I don't want to reveal it just yet. For those who don't know, like, I... I'm doing a lot of experimentation with YouTube right now. Some stuff works, some stuff I could do better on. Um, and I want to do a guide that is a little bit different than what you've seen on really any of these roguelike channels. This is gonna be very different, but it's still gonna be a guide where someone will go and then see what's what you don't do and what you should do. Um, and I know people have been asking about tier lists. I still don't know if I plan to do a tier list or not. Death Concierge. And like nothing over here, unfortunately. Quick Bow will run out of ammo. Cocoon would be kind of interesting against Concierge. I'm a little worried about the ammo part.
flaming trail. Like, does that do something for us? Imagine taking door here. <laughs> I almost considered taking that door. I was like right there. All right, um, Barbie. Ammo. Networking for Concierge, assuming Concierge is the harder of the two bosses. If we're lucky, Cocoon does work here. I just don't know if it really does or not. I remember watching your earlier Dead Cells vids, and one was how to get good at Dead Cells. As I did a full run, and that's super helpful. Yeah, I guess I don't really do... Runs. I mean, I talk through every run I do, you all know that, but I don't make that into a YouTube video. I should try cocooning that. No, oh, come on. Rip no hit. You see that spawn? My cocoon! Wait, where is it? Why did I not get the reset? It's like it went straight through me. It's messed up. Sickle would be really nice against the, um, Concierge Twins. I think I'd rather have the Barney. Bonus damage to Groot. I think Barney is a little more consistent. I'll do that instead. Replace Barney? We'll see. My hope is that it's the right move here. Could maybe drop barb tips for support too. Do I think spoiler weapon is busted? I think it's as good as it should be for a... I think something just flew on me. For a 5 DC exclusive weapon. I think they did a very good job making it strong. I have shots fierce. Oh, that sucks. Brett, I just wasted that. Did you know how to jump, chat? Jumping extremely powerful in dead zones. Someone said, V, are you going to make a final guide in Dead Cells? The whole guide is just learning how to jump. Crap, I almost just threw the game. Oh, say, are you not dead? Are you not dead? Him. See, I think Barnacle was the right move there. Wolf Trap, that poisons the enemy. I mean, I'm already kind of sitting on something, but... Carol Glyphs. Where's Beelzebub? Is my HP not low enough for Beelzebub? Is it like 30%? That's really, really low. I mean, with Wolf Trap, it was probably not that bad a choice. <laughs> Turn back the 50% bonus. <laughs> another Giant, another Dracula. We have Cocoon, so should be an easy clap. We just need to make sure we can get through the Giant. 
crow's feet could probably kill giant. Star Fury could kill the giant. I feel like you have to, right? Make sure there's nothing else nuts in here. Okay, so wolf trap's worthless. Alright. What's the hardest boss, in my opinion? Um... I mean, I want to say Servants. I've had some people say that they think Queen is harder than Servants, and like, I get it. But I definitely say I die more to Servants than I die to the Queen. Can I get Electrical? Okay, we got the electric. Technically, I could use this, but I feel like that's so dangerous. I mean, we have Cocoon, right? I never pressed the parry button at all during that entire encounter. So now we have Poison. Rip money? Okay. I'm just not allowed to have poison damage, I guess. Oh my god, you have to be kidding me. Alright, um... Point blank. We run instinct, though. I don't think so. Point blank, disengage. I'm really leaning towards more defense. But also maybe go no mercy to just potentially win ASAP. Should I really be afraid of Giant? I don't think I should. I think we're fine. This is more, um, Wings of the Crow. Which might be mandatory. We'll heal up. It's 60% to heal anyway, and we're at 41, so no reason not to. Yo, Raven, welcome. Welcome to everyone on the YouTube audience, by the way. Happy to have you here. Don't move. Wait, I need to shoot! Crap! I forgot about that. Oh, uh, we do have Cocoon. Button I haven't pressed even once. I, I got scared. I canceled my Wings of the Crow because I thought for sure I had to get out of that. Okay, no damage taken. No damage taken. Um, trash. Trash. All right. This could be really good. I actually don't know how easy this is. Back in the day, Cocoon worked in the Dracula fight. If there's a chance it got nerfed and I just don't know it. This could be good. 
I like No Mercy. Wish it was a little stronger. I guess, like, as the monster's HP increases, the stronger No Mercy is. But if you are very strong, then No Mercy gets worse, I suppose. Because, like, maybe you can do that 7% by yourself. Wow, I'm trolling. Whoa, lag? I can't reach. Did he slide? Oh, look how I'm getting knocked backward. Kind of weird. I did that thinking it would electrocute him. Oh my god. I'm not, on, not even on the floor. Can't roll through. We gotta heal at some point. Lost Cocoon. One, no, no health pots, right? No health pots for the boss coming up. Not ideal. Um, if we're fighting Hand of the King, maybe I'm okay. Doubters rising up right now. Believers, I have nothing to offer you, to be perfectly honest. Unless it's Hand of the King. That is Queen. Eleven herbs and spices. Can you fly off the map and just shoot her with? No, you can't. You'll fall down. Uh, what's the indicator to show what boss we're fighting? It's this thing right here. Um, so necklace is queen, um, the triple mask is servants, hand the king is a mask, I think, and then Dracula should be a bat. Final form Dracula is a bat. Uh, we could go full range. Wings of the Crow could possibly stay if we do that. A turret would be really nice. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we got it. Pyro. Carbine in the backpack. I don't think we're running this, because if she knocked it back to me, I think I insta-die. Do I need a shield? I mean, we have the money. It's just the odds of me actually pressing the parry button is extremely low. See the amount of thought that goes into this? That's T-H-O-U-G-H-T. This is real work. Beg the game for Tesla Coil. Oh my god, it's getting worse and worse. Okay. Just don't get hit, forehead. Okay, I did actually press the down button. I was like, wait, my thumb's not there, and it actually was. My bad, my bad. Alright, um... 
So this... This could be better. Ideally, we want poison. Um, we could use oil. Oil here. Thank you. Technically, we have oily owl. This might be legit. Um, we cannot heal ourselves, so we have to kind of go all out on damage at least a little bit. We're going Tranquilo. Because we, I am going to stay very far away from the boss and pray that she doesn't know I'm attacking her. The first time on Twitch, I just got here after seeing you live on YouTube. Do you have both tabs open? <laughs> one for YouTube, one for Twitch? Am I using a different mic? Uh-oh. I hope I sound okay. Hopefully that's a compliment. V, are you using a different mic? You sound so crystal crisp. Get away from me. Well, she can grab those? Oh my god, it's over. I don't know why I dodge rolled there. No, oh, it's not over. <laughs> she likes me, chat. She likes me. My, my baby, I was gonna say. See the... Oh my god, the issue is this thing doesn't aim down. So like I'm going in the air trying to shoot her, but it doesn't actually connect. I can parry, roll. Please, ow, just kill her. I don't want to do this anymore. Not safe. Cancel. <laughs> Why does the pyro not aim down? Is it supposed to just shoot straight like that? My heart's pumping. My God. So hardest boss rush boss. I would say queen is pretty high up there. Servants can be, but it's still like just servants, like the same as normal servants, except more intense, but no climb. So, like, doable. I feel like Queen sometimes does not seem doable at all. Dang, she out here giving me a headache. Gonna need some actual water. Thank you, Nakashi. I grabbed coffee because I felt like I was getting a little tired. But, um, when stuff like that happens, who needs coffee? He cripes. All right, winner's point of view. Easy game, easy life. Uh, we're doing survival next. Mama Tick Concierge, no, Mama Tick Conjunctivius. Scizor, Baseball Bat, 
Breaking Ball. Dead Sight Hell Custom, Taunt, and a Green Owl. Cash your boats, people. I have no idea what to take. I really don't. Did you see Hades 2 opening up technical tests? Did I do it? I sure did. We're gonna be there streaming Hades 2 day one technical test, just like we did with Sinless Zone Zero. Um, it should be a good time. I know I talk a lot of constructive, not bad, constructive things about Hades 1. And my hope is that a lot of those are gonna be solved in Hades 2. Um, if they're not, then I'm sure it's... If it's literally Hades 1 with new gods and a new character, I think it will still do very well. Um, I just... I hope for more than just very well. I hope for perfection. Perhaps that's a me issue. I don't know what to take here. Like, I see people putting in suggestions. I see people saying baseball bat with no stun. No one said anything about Anathema. No one mentioned baseball. I mean, uh, Wrecking Ball. That's messed up. I just realized he's streaming on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. Whoa. That's... All the chat you need is right in here. You're all one big family now. You're part of the family. Part of my pack. You're part of my pack. Should I go to prison depths, corruption, prison every... Oh, even though I always get hit? Um, depends on what BC you're in, I suppose. If it's lower boss cells, I wouldn't worry about it. If it's 4 BC, 5 BC, people do skip it still, but that one scroll is pretty impactful. All right. This death scythe gives you double damage taken, fortunately. Skills? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. Well, no, crap, Owl interrupts Ice Crossbow. It was going to be Ice Crossbow for sure. Taunt. <laughs> Just Baseball Bat. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. I just realized that we have this thing in here. Particle? No, Barricade? Turn that into this. Backpack that. Give me recovery. Soldier? That's a, like, fair amount of healing, which is perhaps too much healing, but maybe it's okay. And then a cheeky... Open wounds. I've been saying cheeky a lot lately. Does anyone in chat say cheeky? Please say why in the chat. If you use the term cheeky, say N in the chat. If v, I, um... I got other words that I say. I, I use curse words instead. <laughs> Alright. Uh, no hit. Look at the poison. Right hander or left hander? That's lefty? Lefty Lucy? Oh, all my health back. Righty tidy. Nope. Can you stop? <laughs> I 
trying to chill. Jeez. I always roll and then just parry after. Because, like, I don't know the timing. For some reason, it's delayed. Other times, it goes, like, super fast. Like that. That would count as super fast to me. Are those exclamation points out of sync? Did you all see that? So, that was fairly impressive. I have all my HP back. Is that normal? Like, I got my HP back almost like a second after she hit me. Almost as if nothing even happened. This isn't like the hit, right? Tips to no hit mama tick, stun grenade. Stun grenade, heart of ice. It's almost all you need. Shovel and um, Spartan Sanders, also very good in that fight. All right, so Toho, you, ooh, the death, death value. Did you all see that ghost? Huh. She won't come up here anymore. Look at that Danny Phantom. Just waiting on one enemy. I make the Danny Phantom joke a lot. I've never seen that TV show before. That was like Nicktoons, and at that time, I grew out of Nicktoons. All right, Toho. Apparently, I found a blind spot. Oh, the last one. Oh, unlucky. Uh, you can tell when the parry's coming. Please? <laughs> oh my god. You can always tell as I about to get hit by one. Wait, this seems strong. Unusually strong. If only this worked. Like, we could be rocking the baseball bat right now if this actually worked. I only have 5,000 health. Even with Soldier's Resistance. I feel like I should have a lot more than this. Death Scythe is strongest weapon in DLC. This has like bonus to bleeding target and I'm running open wounds off color just to get 60% extra damage. Scarecrow, Dracula, those are both very awful fights. Hear me out? I had to. If Assault Shield shows up, we take it. Though I should probably take this, right? Do Death Scythe Hell Custom without the healing tech? I almost say, like... Give me the double damage! I heal! Whistle. Pressure. Crusher's good on Scarecrow. Whistle might be good against Dracula. Dracula cannot be frozen. What else could we want? I don't know if Rebound Stone works in the Dracula fight. Ice Armor. I 
I'm curious if this stops Dracula from shooting you. V, stop experimenting. You all don't understand. Like, this is very important. Wish? I think Wish is banned. I guess you go for the poison here. I think this can get poison damage. This can get weird stuff. I'm never gonna press the button. Oh, definitely not that. See, bleeding and burning oil. Leave that. I think the mutations stay as is. Oh, let me show you all the bands. Guess I have to reset. Um, so band, YOLO, Wish, Midas Blood, Get Rich Quick, Acceptance, Alienation, Gastro Band, and that's it. Most of those bands are just things that should not function in Boss Rush. If you think about Gastro, like, when do you ever get to use Gastro's healing? Technically, you, you don't. Um, so the concept was just get rid of them so no one accidentally picks them. Um, the, the other bands, like Midas Blood, is supposed to be to prevent people from breaking the economy. And I actually, I'm not in agreement to have that banned. I think, if anything, it should just be nerfed. Like, you, you can only get X amount per boss, but then that requires you to, like, code these fights specifically to boss rush, which I don't know if they would want to do. Or maybe the spaghetti code doesn't allow for it. Clean this up a little bit. I'm not going to bother trying to parry these. Ooh! Aided and outsmarted. Okay, if Indulgence doesn't stop Scarecrow, I assume it doesn't stop Dracula. Oh, wow. That hurt it. How scary. I'm trolling. I'm actually hard trolling. The timing on the parries. It's like I was in sync in the beginning of the fight, and then there's this massive disconnect where, like, it all just left my brain and my soul at the same time. That's why I usually don't try to go for parry tech in that fight. It's like it requires me to be on the entire time. And you all know me, I like to, you know, talk a little. All right, game hard. All right, so we didn't get the streak. That's okay. Because we need to show it is possible to lose at boss rush. I know boss rush seems to be an easy clap. Um, but clearly, there are ways to fail. And that is uh, what just happened then. Otherwise, like, it was actually very, very good. I think that build specifically, the bleeding damage on the... Well, it's not on the scythe, but it's on open wounds. We get bonus damage on the scythe. 
Scythe does like a bunch of hits. Not every one of those hits applies bleed and poison, but it still applies a lot of it. And then if I get hit, we have recovery, and then every hit of that blender gives you health back. It's not like um, the open wounds where it's on a 0.3 timer. It actually gives you all the health back, which is like kind of nuts to be honest. That was legit though. Congrats to all the uh, believers and non-believers. I'm sure you all got giga paid today. And to be fair, you know, if I won every match, then the non-believers never get anything. How do you use vamp the way it works now with um, Iron Staff? Lawless, I think, does okay with it. Iron Staff is the best because Iron Staff doesn't kill the monster unless you do the parry. And the whole point is to be able to get all the health back without killing the targets. All right. Chat, we're gonna be next gaming it. We have our world premiere game today. A game that you all won't see until possibly Friday unless you play the demo. This is Ant took my eyeball. I promise you. <laughs> it's just every time I alt tab I lose it. People told me that this game was Dead Cells meets Spelunky. I like one of those things. Uh... Okay, D-pad doesn't work for some reason. Um... Uh, we'll keep it full screen. I don't want it to kill my uh, display. Screen shake amount. <laughs> Let's do a little bit of that. Okay. I assume this is a controller game. It's really asking me to play keyboard and mouse. I have not played this game before. But from what I understand, everyone loves this game. This is an action roguelike. It will be out this week. When I beat the Gino 4 BC, I barely won because I had no health pots. Thanks to No Mercy, I did win. That is very helpful in that boss fight, for sure. Oh my god. Honey, I shrank the kids. Age check. <laughs> okay, we got tutorial. What happened? Where am I? Hey, Mo. Saw the ant stick your eyeball, so a Haymo shrunk you to ant size to fit into the ant hill. Haymo is helping you because Haymo too has beef with the ants. Beef like Kendrick? I see. Thanks, Haymo. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go after my eyeball. Oh, that's me. Hang on. Haymo thinks we could work together to fight those ants. Jump down the ant hill and Haymo will be right behind you. Devs, I need D-pad. Like, that's my number one ask in every game. I like the graphics already. Like, you show me this kind of thing, and I'm, like, already pogging. Oh, and you can do this? Kill a monster, and you do a little bit of that? Love it. I think this is a keyboard and mouse game. Um, just hopefully the... The ASMR from my keyboard isn't too bad for you all. Okay. We discovered a stick. Now we're in Terraria. Right... Bumper... For melee. Okay. Discovered ant workers. You got double jumps too. Shift the dash. 
dash upwards. Okay. They're cooking. I'm gonna assume oh Q? What an interesting button. Uh you can hold to aim. It has a cooldown to it. The uh, the gun! Ah yes. Dead cells meet Spelunky. This is exactly what I expect to see is the gun. Is there ammo in this game? Like, would I ever... Oh, there is ammo. I have 13 bullets left? Ain't no way. Oh, uh, that's a Splunky right there. Oh, you can use the rock to disable the traps. Oh, that's not a trap at all. We're one out of two. I assume we need to kill things to get that back. Unlucky. Oh, that is a freaking arrow. All right. Uh, we don't know if we want to destroy stuff or not. Eight bullets left. Is it sacrifice? Bloody door. Uh, uh chat, is there fall damage? Spelunky has fall damage. That's a dead body, apparently. Legendary bug. Okay, it is evil. Confirm. All right, we got the Dead Cells Katana. How does one equip? Okay, we're learning. You love the gun clicking sound? What about the sword slashing sound? I'm afraid of this arrow right here. Hello. Whoa. That's a combo to it. So what, that's an elite? Slammer Beetle. Alright, we don't know what the healing is like in this game. Wait, is that loot bug? I think I faded it's coming down here. Relic, maybe? Helping hand, activate to instantly reload weapons. Maybe it's a new Q button. Yeah, it's a gadget. Okay, I'm using it, but I don't think my gun needs to be reloaded. All right. The ants are making mini katanas. You know, I never considered that the ants own this stuff. And I'm just borrowing it to kill them. Okay, the arrow trap's not as bad as I thought it was. X. New biome. Wait, that is a really, really nasty looking biome. Katana's OP. It has like knockback to it. But we haven't figured out when we get our health back. Uh, shoddy needle SMG. What's W? Oh, you can see the stats. Poison chance. 
Always love shoddies. You can give it a try. I would love if there's like a auto equip. Ooh, is that like a long reload? Uh oh. I can see the reload now. Some weapons have it worse than others. Ooh! I didn't know there was wall climbing. Silk Song Hoop. Okay, not bad, not bad. Um, there better be a vid for this? I mean, you're on YouTube technically. This is gonna be the vid. A vid. Uh, we don't know if there's selling in this game yet. Yeah, we gotta start spinning ammo. Because now we're overkill on ammo. So it said press Q to instantly reload your weapons. It's totally not. That was scary. So these are like green guns, which makes me think that there's harder, not harder, but rarer guns to find. Oh! Still don't think I've healed yet. Shotgun City. Everywhere they got shotguns right now. Um, I see people asking about Dead Cells. I do thank you all for tuning into that Dead Cells segment. Right now we're trying out a world premiere game. And took my eyeball. If you all have any questions about that, you can hopefully learn them together. The Dead Cells stuff, I'm more than happy to answer in like the YouTube comments. X? Oh, it's another one of those evil biomes. They think I can't do this? Rip HD bar? The visceral in this is really nice. Like just bug guts. Always appreciate that. Hmm, dead end. You gotta figure out the healing situation. Out of ammo! I thought we were chilling on ammo, my bad. I mean, we have the katana at least. God break sarcophagus. Radiant ammo light. Chance to consume ammo reduce. And then a bunch of blue bugs? Are those ghosts? Uh they are aggressive. I have no ammo left. And 9 HP. I wonder if that sarcophagus summoned all of these. It seems to be every monster I've killed thus far, like in this area. Does that mean there's no more? Ooh. Save point? Or mini boss. I got plus 25 shielding, maybe?
friendly. <laughs> friendly? I didn't mean to attack! Press the wrong button! Wait, we're fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 no! Alright, we're fine. Sleeper Beetle? I actually did not mean to attack it. I missed it. Six Shooter. I'm at Tech 9 now. stuff. Did it respawn every monster that I killed? Not just the ones that were in that area? Downwell? This is like super interesting. <laughs> Why no one tell you, Sag? Why didn't anyone tell me this game was good? Scrapyard. New biome. World premiere biome right here. Why are they here? I have not been to this area yet. Why are there blue enemies? Sold. Interesting. So I can go to the next level. Or I can go to the scrapyard. And they aim. They're getting low on ammo. Oh, there is reloading in this game. Like manual reloading. So song who? Uh so I have two hundred dollars. Increase your max HP by fifteen. We don't know if that's going to give me current HP. <gasps> Drop items, maybe? Ah, okay. That's legit. Components. Is there crafting? So now we are Terraria after all. Holy crap. Did I reuse this title from the day before? Look at the game. It fits. Okay, hang on, hang on. IQ check. I'm not willing to drop my good gun. All right. I assume this... Okay. Upgrade to Zan Mushikin. Wait, did I not get a ton of components? I have four. Unlucky. Alright, that did give me current HP. Every door seems to be locked. Oops. Why? <laughs> I don't even want to <laughs> interact with this thing. Fire. We need to get the Zambato. Once we get that, then we're actually just golden. Ooh. Oh, they shoot? Okay. Please don't spawn blue bugs everywhere. 
Radiant Amulet increase damage against ghosts. Oh my god, why does it make ghosts? The elite respawn as a ghost. That's incredible. Can't deflect the bullet? What kind of game is this? Wait. Did I come back or did I never actually kill us? I never killed it. It fell over and I thought it died. This, this has been the same biome. Drop gloves? I don't have gloves, right? Oh, helping hand. All damage check. I thought every ghost went after me. Where'd that ghost come from? I thought they all died to the piston and then the Zanbak Zanbakto. Why don't we get you back on your feet and try again? Roguelite game? Alright, so this is our hub. Starting to look like Hamo and you will be spending a lot of time together. Why don't we make this place look like home? Oh, snap, the meta. Get one hearty shroom at the start of each run. Money trees, that's more Kendrick. Spawn a coffee maker. Drinking the coffee gives you 10% melee speed, fire rate, and reload. I guess you do this for sure. Okay. Oh, that's cute. You know, the dev didn't have to do this. They could have just gave you a menu and you press a button and then congratulations, you have health. They went the extra mile. And said, how about some immersion? And I get on that? No. Okay. Interesting. I like what I'm seeing so far. The ghosts are annoying. But that's a get good. Noite PTSD. So the difference... I'm sure will appear eventually. So far, what I like is I actually can kill stuff before it kills me. Wait, we're going back through tutorial? Did I miss a prompt to skip tutorial? Oh, okay. I guess I still need tutorial. <laughs> Give me the gun. <gasps> so I assume this part's gonna be randomized. And tutorial is not. Looks like I can reload mid melee combat, which is kind of sick. It's like we're back in a Counter Strike and or Valorant, whichever game you prefer. Yeah, see, I can play games like this. This is not Noita. This is better, Noita. Soundtrack's legit. Let me know if the music's too loud, by the way. Ooh. Blue shot. Dragon's breath. Fireballs. Oh no, it's Noita. Crimson Pike. Deals extra damage against bleeding enemies. That's what we had in Dead Cells. Fires two bouncing energy projectiles. Is that special ammo? The 15? I 
I guess that was free. Holy crap. Uh, I say that is probably special ammo. Minus 15. Wait, do I need to save these? No, we don't. Oh my god, we get so much. Hang on, hang on. This is legit. We're cooking. Lead charm. Attack slow enemies. I like the trinkets. We don't have anything super exotic yet, but the stuff that we did pick up, it works. Right out the box. How's ammo sustained? I had a shotgun. No, not a shotgun. I had like an SMG that blew through my ammo. This seems to be okay-ish. But like losing 15? A little rough. Makes your melee kills grant killer instinct, which is damage and moves. Speed. Oh, hear that? Secret area? I don't know if there's grenades in this game. If there's grenades, it's definitely Noiza. This is different compared to our first um, attempt. Don't go down here. Okay, the fact I can hit a fire monster onto my body is like kind of messed up. But that's the uh, five things I wish I knew. Okay, let's not go into the secret biome. Perhaps if we go to the next area, we won't get the tutorial. Trying to use that killer instinct. There's a double. There's a double. Perhaps you leave that. Okay. I need my Zanpakuto back. This club sucks. Pocket Dynamo. Gives every energy weapon shot chance not consume ammo. We pass an energy weapon to get the uh, fire wand. Okay, now I'm getting next to no ammo. Someone asked how's the sustain? Now it's back. I thought we were fine earlier because I got crap to the ammo at one time. Juggles? Tekken? There's no mouse wheel to change weapons. I don't think you can equip two guns. This still uses that ammo. It's like special ammo. That's so interesting. Okay. Is there a contact damage? It, there does not seem to be contact damage unless it's an elite that has an aura. Which is like my pet peeve in uh, action roguelikes is when there's contact damage. So the boss, not the boss, the devs have already did a good job in that regard. Okay, so that's the next area. This is Junkyard. I'll do a little bit of Junkyard, only because I expect there to be some kind of shop or NPC or something. I think we can sell stuff here, too. 
I skipped a few monsters, which is why I don't have as much. different. Last time we were in Junkyard, there was an area above, and now there's not. It's pretty cool. A lot of keys that we need. wonder if this is instant death. What do you all think? Why in the chat if this is instant death in the chat of V? Nah, you're fine. In for now. Nah. Oh, you can dash diagonally. I really wish that controller was a little better in this. <gasps> like, what's the dodge button? I'm pressing everything. It's L3? On what planet is it L3? That's so interesting. All right. Ooh. Wish I farmed a little bit more. Can you break these? No? Oh, There's probably really good stuff in here too. Extra jumps. Uh, hits against enemies with less than 8% health is a crit. Shouldn't it die if it has 8%? Ammo up, that's pretty cool. Poison weapon. Fires a lightning bolt that chains the enemies. Wait, that's so much better than my dragon breath. Did I pick the wrong thing? Oh yeah, just get the ammo. Just in case we get a new energy weapon. I want to press down jump to go to the next area. This is cool. We gotta see, like, does this take us out of tutorial? Yo, you see that map generation? Snow levels. I can't stick on snow. Rip ammo. Whoa, I just hatched a bunch of eggs. Why is there snow levels in an anthill? Like, this is the last thing ants want, right? Are they gonna die? <laughs> what? Alright, new mechanics unlocked. Blow all my ammo here. Wake me up when he gets the Zanbok toll back. That kills. Oh my god, wait, why was I not doing that before? Why didn't anyone tell me? We could be saving so much ammo. So I'm breaking those with the assumption that every ant killed is money. Even if it's just from an egg. They say no, I say yes. 
So this is where ghosts can show up. Unlucky. Uh, but if we're lucky, maybe there's a better melee weapon. Tea kettle. Alright, we're caffeinated, just like in real life. Ooh, okay. How's healing? The healing seems to be extremely rough. See, this spawns ghosts. Radiant Paradox. Attack speed. Is that friendly fire? No, maybe one of them hit me. So now every monster has respawned, I think. This is extremely annoying. But that's like the curse that we picked up. And usually there's some really good stuff in there. The attack speed could be legit, because we are like kind of struggling on ammo. I can't play these kind of games with keyboard and mouse. I mean, I'm doing it. Okay, do not hit. Oh, oh no. Alright, rip ammo. Did die from fire? To probably change, right? Yeah, if this game had, like, quick-swap guns, that'd be really nice. Yeah, so now every ghost has reappeared. I mean, we're chilling. With just a stick. Yeah, you do have to reload. Attention span. Reduces the damage you take from environmental hazards. As in you're not paying attention and landed in a trap? Or got shot by an arrow? It's messed up. I wonder if it will protect you from spikes, which apparently you can just shoot. Gold biome! Shoddy does no damage. You gotta get closer. Wait, do I have now immunity? Seventy-five percent less damage. Alright, I guess they figured that part out. Alright. Oh my god, I didn't even try to dodge that. Yeah, so every time I get a melee kill, I get a frenzy bonus. Which is why you see things like flying farther, or me moving faster. It might give me damage, I don't know if it does or not. moves in this game. It's actually kind of sick. Yeah, I need... I wish I got that energy weapon in the beginning, but here's a bunch of ammo right here. Look 
Look at all the eggs. It's almost like that thing, which brings you to a new transition area. It's almost like a mini boss. Don't aggro, please. Ooh. I waste all my ammo. Um, wall hack grenade. A throwable grenade that reveals enemies and inflicts marked status. They take extra damage. That's a new Q button. I think I'd rather grab the katana. I know it sucks to still be using like the same weapon we've already seen, but hear me out, it's legit. Alright, I think we're ready. 25 HP in a dream. controller right now. Alright, we're getting through quite a bit of this level. Bees! <laughs> no, they have beehive levels. weekend last weekend cutting down a lot of our ivy that's around our house because the bees love well I don't think they're bees <laughs> I think they're like the murder wasps those things have started making nests in our ivy so I decided that this year is the year I'm cutting that back and that's like the most exercise I've gotten in probably two years is cutting the uh, the ivy around the house and funny enough, there was one big bumblebee yesterday. Not a killer wasp, so like, unfortunate. But the the bumblebee was going around our house, just scoping it out. It was out there for a good like 15 minutes. The same bee, like I know it's the same bee, I can tell. So I hope it goes and tells the killer wasps that this is like not the house. This place sucks now. For bees and wasps. Turbo charger. Rate of fire for a weapon that we have rockets on. And yeah, like don't get me wrong, we have plenty of woods over there for the the bees and wasps to be in. They don't need to be right next door to us. Or are we? We're in Massachusetts, so it's only just now warm, and it'll probably be cold next week. I do not like any of this. I aggroed the whole room. Is there like a bee phobia? Am I poisoned? Like, what's arachnophobia for bees? I don't have it, but I just, I, I'm wondering. 6 HP. Eh. I took the wrong gun. If I just had a better gun, it would have been fine. Mesophilioma? I don't think that's what that is. Apiphobia. Okay. Uh, Hamo's got some new renovation ideas. Check it out. When you die, you get to store one of your trinkets to this printer.
Get a discount if you finish the level in less than 15 minutes. A discount. A discount to what? Kamo's Boutique. We don't know what that is. Let's save. That way we, um, we won't make a mistake. All right. Let's do a really quick, uh, controller hot swapping. Turn on. I wonder what this is. Being able to use both at the same time. They have character outlines, which is very nice. Good job, devs. Um, I don't really see anything about... Oh, wow. This game's multiplayer? Is it really? Hello, YouTube. It didn't do it. Okay. So. Findings. Jump dash. Wait, we did it on L3. Jump dash. Movement. Oh no. Space to rebind. And then you click. I can't get it on directional pad. That would have been so nice. It's like I don't even need the crosshair, I think. Old auto jump vibration strength. <gasps> yeah, it's definitely not doing circle to dodge roll. I won't stay on this for too too long. Dash direction towards aim towards movement. Like you all see this, right? Dash B. This is my B button right here. I press the button, it does nothing. I press L3, however. Couldn't even find it. Look at that. Is that a me issue? Is that a get good? How much is this game gonna be? I actually don't know. This is a Steam game. Um, this is not a hashtag ad. I should say that this is a key provided by situation. So thank you to the devs for allowing me to play this early for you all. Just use Steam Controller Rebind. It's just nice to be able to do the stuff like in-house, you know? And not do anything that's, uh... Ooh. Oh, it's the stuff that we asked for when we come in. Got it. So it's not the tutorial. It still has the signposts to, like, tell you what to do. But it's actually in completely different formation. It's very interesting. And then I guess once you get to Ant Hill entrance, then all of this should be different. The game's very smooth, I can say that much. Enjoying this a lot more than Spelunky. It'd be very interesting to know if this is multiplayer or not. It ain't eight. <laughs> I'm not 
getting hit by that fire. Uh-uh. Just wishlisted this? I'm excited because I love roguelike games. Is this your first time seeing this game, Zai? This is my first time seeing it, basically. Uh, shout out to the homie Esty and... Someone else told me about this game in our own chat. Beetle Ring. Increased damage against unarmored enemies with more than 90% of their health. Get an additional jump. Okay. That's basically every monster except the leaks, right? If we get to the point where we can one-shot a monster, that'd be pretty nice. I think this game, you have to go for Econ. The only issue is, like, they reward you for speedrunning. I give you a cost discount. Uh, energy weapon stuff. Extra dashes. Extra jump. Alright, chat, we gotta go for energy weapon if it shows up. Let's actually take the thing. Yeah, we got the multi-screen fix. So now we can have sophisticated multi-screen now. For those on YouTube, say hi to the people on Twitch. For those on Twitch, say hi to YouTube. Yeah, they can't give me controller in this game. It'll be GG. Rusty Rifle shoots powerful bullets. Okay. We gotta use our rock, too. The Dwayne. It's actually kind of strong, funny enough. Let me in. Get destroyed. Okay, so this gives you, like, armor or something. Yeah, plus 25, but we don't know what that is. It's definitely not health. Crap! My hit list! Okay, so you are protecting what? Another pocket dynamo. I like that this stuff can stack. It's almost like Risk of Rain territory. Is this just better risk of rain returns? Does the chat think you have an option to exclude bot messages? I assume not. I might be able to exclude specific users, but it doesn't know that that's a bot. Compared to, um, like, stream elements knows stream elements and Epi the Epibot knows Epibot. It knows its own account. So there are like two ways to go. Um, I guess like the bot's okay as a reminder. Hey, if you haven't followed on Twitch, head over to twitch.tv slash v.me. Follow there. I stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday. Uh, for those on Twitch, if you aren't already subscribed to YouTube, I have no idea how you got here if that's the case. But my hope is that you have already subscribed. We post new videos every single week. We just posted some Ashla Scent. I've been working on a Dead Souls video for the past, like, two months. I opened it up today, and then I had to go grocery shopping. So it, we're going to be doing that video, hopefully, this week. This... It's gonna spawn ghosts. You can see them resurrect. That's so funny. I think you have to do this. It's just so much value. It's uh, the helping hand. Take it to sell. I'm gonna fight this thing. Dang, I had time. 
I rip armor? These, like, secretish areas are really cool. I wonder why it has an X. I'm sure it's just don't go this way, says the ant. Like, think I'm gonna listen to a dumb ant? And then you think, wait, are the ants actually dumb? Because they have a pretty high society. With, like, one million strong. Ants for sure outnumber people. So how are they the dumb ones? Okay, big bunny. I wonder what that blue bar is below my HP. Is it like experience? It's not the energy to throw a stone. I don't know what that is. It's like an empowered attack or something. Alright. So we full cleared that way. Let's go to the right. Grocery shopping on a Tuesday? What day would you go grocery shopping? Is there like a secret strat that I don't know about? Like, I... I've been around for quite a while, but if you were to tell me, V, you gotta shop on Friday, every Friday is Senior Citizen Day, then that's messed up, if that's what you're saying. Alright, good chest, good chest. Vertical Fang. Increase crit hit damage. Have I seen a crit in this game? Oh. I saw something here. Oh, here we go. No new weapons. They've been really uh stingy today. Crit damage, burst pin is dash up. If we ever find an energy weapon, we're gonna pop off, 100%. That's this run, right? Yeah, we have double of these. I mean, we can save. There's a shop in the next area. Maybe haps guaranteed. We just gotta get there. We've been farming this whole time. Funny enough, the stick is, like, kind of strong. Okay, so that's gonna spawn ghosts. Perhaps... We do the rest, and then do that. Why? Why? Why are there two? Get out! Barely any ammo. It can actually fit through that hole? No way. That means I wonder if those spawn as ghosts. That'd be really bad. I'm gonna assume not. That almost sounds <laughs> imbalanced. Energy weapon! It's not an energy weapon. Icicle gun. Hitting an undamaged and unarmored enemy does a frozen status. Alright. Wish there was like hold F to auto equip. Okay. Looks fun, but the name of the game, WTF? No, they took his eyeball. Like, for real, for real. They actually respawned as ghosts. Luckily, they're asleep. They woke up! Why did they wake up? See a sucker? 
chases me. Splunky ghost? Scrapyard's different. <laughs> no way! Wait, I clicked out. I thought we had settings for that. Was it under bindings? That'd be a weird place to put it. Okay. Constrain. Constrain me, thank you. You're dead, buddy. Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it. Made it. It actually made it. There's no way. Alright, um, let's save our money. Wait, I have to use this? I thought I'd just drink it automatically. Okay, so we have components. We have three. We could drop our icicle gun and turn this into a an icicle impaler for the cost of five components. Which means I could ditch something. This is definitely not... Yeah, because we're going to sell... That just one. All right, one more, one more. We're gonna break the game right here. Vertical hit damage. All right. Boom. Icicle impaler. Piercing projectile that freezes undamaged and armored enemies. That's big. We still need a new weapon. Like a new melee weapon. Now I don't really have to worry about buying an energy weapon. Though it might still be nice to have. If it's in there. This was essentially costless, I would say. Yield. Alright. Yo! Red shell, blue shell. All right, um, crit damage per damage you've taken. Makes critical shots home in on a nearby enemy. So the game knows what a crit is before it happens. Maybe that's what the blue bar is below your HP, is likelihood of crit. Resurrects the wielder upon death. The Ankh? Uh, crits at lower HP. See, so it's like it doesn't crit until it hits, but the shells make it seem like you crit before you even shoot. Horrible javelin that pierces through enemies and inflicts bleed. I might be buying that. Atomic Malcolm. Like Malcolm in the middle. Energy shoddy. The Nodachi. Chemicals. Okay, um, we have 350, so I think we're going serrated. Chemical. Someone asked, is this game out yet? No, I believe the launch day is... Oh, I messed up. It's a 
tool, a gadget. And I believe launch day is on Friday? Yo, Darkwing Dusk, thank you. Friday the 13th. Plus six. All right. So this is our PB right here. Oops. We now have a weapon. And a yeetable. You remember playing the demo for this game and you enjoyed it. Everyone has played this game except for me and you all didn't tell me the game was good? That's messed up. Oh wait, this has so much ammo? Okay. Not anymore. Jeez. What happens if I shoot this? I'll be that old. I want to throw the javelin! Alright, so javelin is like D tier right now. It was good in theory, but I haven't been able to pop off with it, which means it's bad. Oh, triple! Oh, baby, a triple. Okay, so maybe I just can't aim. Is that the issue? People are sleeping on this? How do we get people to not sleep? Jump scare? Maybe something enticing so like you get the anxiety and you can't go to sleep? It's like me before a con. And by con, I mean convention. Not con as in I'm gonna scam somebody. Though if someone's trying to scam me, yeah, I might get a little anxious. I don't like the confrontation, you know? That's why I don't be answering the phone. Your armor. So piercing the armor is like a really big deal in this game, apparently. Um, and I think using your Q button is also a really big deal. That's something we weren't really utilizing. Because originally it was just a rock. And now we have even better than a rock. There we go. Um, what do you all think about the ice gun? Are we keeping ice gun? Give me a Y if we keep ice gun in the V. I think you gotta get rid of it once you see something better. crosshairs I'm aiming with feeling okay I feel as though the monster was there and apparently it wasn't not my fault oh this is cool can you freeze is it frozen all right I kind of misplayed But very cool that even that thing could get frozen. Oh my god. The Q button? Did <laughs> anyone tell me to press the Q button? I like that joke. A uh, needle SMG? Once we run out of uh, 
Do they call this like elemental ammo? Okay. Then like ice shot. The charge time is a little rough. I almost wish I could hold it down and then aim. It's like, it's that slow that it makes you think that's what it can do, but it cannot. If you pierce though, it's pretty legit. Um, I am fighting every enemy because I think it's worth the gold. Which you have to manually pick up. There must be something to do that. I really don't want to manually pick up stuff every single time. Beetle Ring. Increased damage on high health enemies. That's like the crowbar from that one game. 64 damage. It's definitely legit. Interesting spike placement. Look at how I'm playing right now. Imagine if I could play controller. We'd already be on the final boss. picking up every weapon because you can sell stuff. It's almost like a, uh, a recycler. Alright. Uh, just follow. Ant took our what? <laughs> Ayo, Ant took my what? That's the whole point of taking the eyeballs, you can't see. But what I mean is that you can't really tell from the pixel art that my character is missing an eyeball. You have to trust me. The Freezies is like actually sick. Large bomb? Gadget, I'm sure. Costs four energy, wow. Why is this... Oh, because of the page I'm on? Why is this glowing? That's my spear. Why do you all think that this is... doing that animation? I don't see a level up mechanic. Do y'all think there's something I'm missing to this? I have too much ammo? I freaking spam this thing. Is it the dev telling me I need to press the Q button to actually progress in this game? Maybe. What's that? It's kinda cute. 
no shot it has a wrecking ball from dead cells. <laughs> Better gamer. Crap, it had armor, so it didn't freeze. I expected to go in, get the freeze, and then, like, be good. Choose something to take back. Maybe take back an amber? This is pretty cool, but... There's a chance to not die as fast. Okay. Meta. Surely there is healing meta in here. So there's this one, where you get to start off with more max HP. Get components at the start of each run. Spawn a money tree. Choose one type of ammo capacity upgrade to get at the start of each run. Coffee maker. Just gives you damage stats. And then clock gives you a discount if you speed run. Oh crap. I think we go for the Kendrick. And then I guess the Recycler lets you do an upgrade. I highly doubt we'll ever do this. It's a very cute game. And obviously we only scratch the surface. Apparently the game is multiplayer. Hello? Press any key or button to join. <laughs> okay. Wait, it's... As my name. As if perhaps the other person is in here. So weird, so weird. Yeah, this is the full game that we're playing. Um, this game is going to be out on the... You all already said. The 19th, I believe. Today is only the 16th. So rest assured, this game will be in your hands. Wish list the game if you haven't already. It's, uh, it's legit. Only feedback I have for the dev is controller support. I know it does have controller stuff in here, but for some reason it's not working for me. Could be a user issue. I hope it's not. All right, chat. That was Ants Took My Eyeball. Very fantastic game. That's a world premiere look of that on uh, the Twitch live stream. Definitely thank you all for joining me in on that. Um, we went live like a little bit of a weird time today. Uh, but we were able to hit some really cool stuff and I'm happy we we're able to do that for you. Tomorrow, for those of you who watch the Twitch streams, tomorrow we have Wholesome vs. Live. And I really want to hop into Witchfire. I don't know what the new update is like. I know they had a lot of trouble getting the new update on board. So my hope is that maybe we can do that for tomorrow's live stream. Um, in the meantime, though, I know this was a very short stream, uh, but I think we're going to end it here. We're not going to go full maiden list tonight. Um, so tomorrow, tune in to twitch.tv slash v.me 2.30 p.m. Eastern for some Witchfire into Wholesome Burst Live with the uh, Wholesome Burst folks. We have a YouTube vid that we're working on right now. I know a lot of you are on YouTube watching the stream right now, but subscribe if you aren't already. Follow my socials, Twitter, Discord. I even have a TikTok, but I prefer YouTube Shorts at this point. Um, but yeah, hope you all enjoyed and took my eyeball. That was actually a pretty cool game. Um, other than that, thank you all for tuning in today. Appreciate each and every one of you for coming out. Thank you for the bits, follow subs as well. All the ongoing support stream could not be possible without you, the viewer. Quick drink of my water. Either way, I want you all to have a good night, good day, good evening, good whatever, wherever you are. 
and I will see you on the Wednesday stream. Have a good night, everybody.